Hello everybody, Greg Conway here, Executive Director and CEO of Tulsa Boys Home. Wanted to give you a quick update as to how things are here at Tulsa Boys Home right now. And um, I know that there's a lot of discussion out in the news, uh, in the media, amongst a lot of people related to reopening businesses and kind of getting back to a sense of normalcy. But I have to tell you that here at Tulsa Boys Home, we are going to continue to maintain strict adherence to our uh, social distancing protocols, as well as our severely restricted access to our campus. Um, so far, all of our 64 boys remain healthy. All of our staff are healthy. Uh, we've been able to mitigate and completely keep the virus away from our Tulsa Boys Home campus. Uh, so far, so good. So uh, we intend to keep it that way, and we will continue doing what we've been doing uh, I just can't thank all of our staff enough, uh, especially our staff that come and go to take direct care of our boys and our therapists that work with our guys doing individual and group counseling. Uh, we miss all of our staff that are working remotely from home, and we certainly miss all of our volunteers. And we can't wait to welcome you all back when we can open up the campus, when we get past this stuff and um, go back to, again, some sense of normalcy here at Tulsa Boys Home. We, um, we want everybody to know, too, that we got our biggest fundraising event coming up next week. Saturday, May 2nd, is our annual Run for the Roses event. Of course, we can't have the event at the Pavilion like we always do, live, 700 people. Uh, but this year, it's going to be a virtual Run for the Roses. Uh, what I can tell you about it right now is that our boys are going to be riding our horses in our own first ever Tulsa Boys Home Derby race. We're calling it Run for the Roses, but it's the Tulsa Boys Home Run for the Roses with our boys riding our horses. Uh, special guest announcers are going to be part of that. Uh, it ought to be super exciting, as well as our live and silent auctions will be online as well. So we will um, send you all the information that you need to be part of that next week. We're going to be getting the word out. There'll be a link that you can click on to uh, participate in our virtual Run for the Roses. So we hope everybody will be participating in that. Again, we'll get you the information out uh, sometime next week so that you can join in on the fun. Uh, we really need to hit it out of the park again like we always do. Again, this is our biggest and best fundraiser of the year to support our food budget for our 64 hungry boys, um, as well as help raise the money that we need for all of their clothing, all of their uniforms. So anyway, um, we are all doing well here at TBH. Um, we haven't missed a lick. And um, our staff that are coming in and out of the boys' home, taking care of our guys every day, are truly part of the group that are real heroes right now in this country, really in the world, um, related to this pandemic. So anyway, um, thanks for tuning in. And um, we'll be back uh, to give you a, a briefing and an update and give you the information about Run for the Roses sometime next week. Stay healthy, stay isolated. God bless. Take care.